Welcome to another episode of The Grim Ripper. This is another installment of our weekly series every Monday called Monday Madness. And this is a series where we search boxes for rookie cards and other key cards for any given year. They might be old packs, they might be newer series. Just depends on what I have in stock or just what I feel like opening. So remember, if you do like this content, be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you can get notified of future videos and also hit that like button that helps uh, the videos out and gets more people to watch them as well which is good for all of us all right so this week on Monday Madness we're going to be opening a sealed box of 1990 edition upper deck baseball now this is the high series box as you can see there it says find the Reggie so there will be some randomly inserted Reggie Jackson cards and he also signed 2,500 uh, cards that were randomly inserted into these boxes so that is one of the key cards that we're hoping to find in one of our 1990 upper deck baseball boxes those were put only in the high series boxes the key rookies that we'll be looking for are Sammy Sosa and Juan Gonzalez hopefully we can get at least one of each of those in this box and there will be of course uh, many Hall of Famers and other minor stars as we open this box today there are 36 packs in this box 15 cards per pack as it says there and we'll try to rip through these as quickly as we can this evening keep in mind that we do this Monday Madness every Monday so join us next time as well and I'll make some small announcements during this video so listen for those as we move along but in the meantime, let's go ahead and open up this box. All right, as we can see, we've got four nice stacks of the foil packs of upper deck. We'll go ahead and start in the upper left, move to the right, down to the bottom left, and over to the bottom right. Here we go. Pack number one. We'll start off the night with a Jeff Hamilton. And Upper Deck, of course, this is a set that requires us to flip cards over in every other way to be able to see them. Tommy Hare, Tim Teufel, Greg Brock, Todd Zeal, Sean Bosky, Matt Noakes, Todd Stottlemyre, Mike Krukow, Brett Butler, Kelly Gruber, Jason Grimsley, two Jason Grimsleys, and not the autographed one that we were looking for, but this is one of those randomly inserted Reggie Jacksons. This is number four of nine, Jackson versus Welch. So that's one of those cards. Pack number two. Now, if you remember last week on Monday Madness, we opened a box of uh, it was NFL football upper deck. I think it was also it was 1991, and we did find the Brett Favre rookie that uh, goes for I don't know almost a hundred bucks. So sometimes you can pull some great cards from these old packs. But tonight we're looking for Juan Gonzalez and Sammy Sosa. There's Dennis Eckersley right there. He's a great player. One big announcement for today as we go through these cards. We did just set up our website where you can go and purchase into each of these breaks that we do throughout the week as well as our live streams. We'll be doing our inaugural live stream coming up in a couple of weeks. But that website is called thegrimrippersden.com. So if you want to go visit that website, you can jump on there and see what things are going to be coming up in the next couple of weeks. We'll do our official kickoff of our very first buy-in two weeks from today. 
So the Monday Madness that debuts two weeks from today will be a buy-in, and you can go right online and see what we're going to be opening on that day. The first, uh, the first number of days that we do those buy-ins are going to be pretty reasonably priced. We don't have any crazy expensive buy-ins at the moment. As the channel grows and we get more support, then we'll be able to buy some of those really expensive boxes that everybody is so excited about with all the cool autographs and everything else in them. So just keep in touch, keep watching, and hopefully we get to the point where we're doing some of those really nice expensive boxes. So far we haven't found a Juan Gonzalez or a Sammy Sosa, but I do see another Reggie Jackson card coming up. I think. Oh no, just have a back that looks like Reggie's card. That's a Greg Vaughn. And we'll end with Lu Luis Aquino right there. So on tomorrow's show, tomorrow is Time Travel Tuesday. So on Time Travel Tuesday, we open things that are at least 20 years old. So tomorrow, I, I haven't picked the box yet, but it'll most likely be something from the mid to late 80s. And uh, there are a lot of great Hall of Famers in those boxes. And um, once in a while, you find a real gem in those, which is really cool. So tomorrow is Time Travel Tuesday. I hope you'll all join us for that. All right. How many of you are excited for baseball to be starting up later in July? That nice shortened season they're going to be doing. I think they said about 60 games. And there will be no fans in the stands. Designated hitters in both leagues. So it's going to be an interesting short season. There's the Ken Griffey Jr. checklist for the Mariners. So at least we'll have some baseball this year that we can watch on television. That's better than having no baseball, that's for sure. All right, let's see if we can pick up the pace on these packs here. Here we got Storm Davis, Darnell Coles, already getting some repeats. I hope that uh, we don't end up with some packs that are just going to be repeats over and over the same stuff. Now, keep in mind that in the high series, they mixed in everything from the low series uh, packs and then added the last 100 cards of the set mixed in throughout. So you're going to find a lot of the same cards from, in the, from the low series packs, but then a few of the higher series cards as well. So far we haven't gotten very many... There's Mr. October, that's number three of nine, so we do have two of the Reggie cards now, but really not any other major stars yet. Saw a few young players that were hot rookies when the set came out, but they never went on to do any kind of superstar level performances. At least start getting some Hall of Famers here. Now on Wednesday, this, well every week, Wednesday is what we're calling What's Up Wednesday. And we call it What's Up Wednesday because we just open kind of whatever I feel like opening that day. And it could be standard baseball fair or it could be something wacky like Pokemon or Magic the Gathering or some kind of movie cards. It's just whatever I feel like opening that day. So look forward to Wednesdays with us for What's Up Wednesday. All right, Dave Stewart and the Padres Checklist. So far, these are pretty uneventful packs in this first stack. Really want to get at least some Hall of Famers coming out here, like a Nolan Ryan or a you know, Don Mattingly, Wade Boggs, any kind of big famous players from back in the day. Might even be a nice be nice to get a Ken Griffey Jr. maybe. It'd be his second year card. A 
Wow. Not much going on. John Montgomery. Gino Petrali. There's a Bo Jackson. There we go. At least a name that everybody recognizes. Bo Jackson. We'll set him aside with the Reggies over there. Mike Scott. Robin Ventura was a well-known player. Here we go. Dion Sanders. He was a two-sport athlete. He played for the Detroit Lions, I believe it was. And uh, also in the major leagues. The Yankees in this case. So Deion Sanders and then Bob Boone to finish out that pack. Two more packs in this stack. Still looking for a Ken Griffey Jr. or a Juan Gonzalez. Or the Sammy Sosa, which is probably the the best rookie in this particular set. But you've also got uh, Mark McGuire is in here as well. Get this camera to focus a little bit. Yes, yeah, so you got Mark McGuire's in this set, and Jose Canseco was playing at the time. A lot of players that went on into the mid 90s as well. Jeff Reardon. Carlos Brega. So far, nobody too exciting. But, well, you know, in a set that's 800 cards, and they have to mix that set up in just a few packs in a box, yeah, and these players might be difficult to find. Okay, George Brett. That's a Hall of Famer right there. Set him aside. So far, the Deion Sanders and the George Brett are the two best cards. And then we're going to end this one with Marvell Wynn and Joe Orsilak. Alright, to let you know, we also do uh, on Thursdays something that we're going to call Thursday Thunder. Now this will start out pretty tame, but as we get more and more... Uh... Oh, we've got a repeat. Jackson versus Welch. As the channel gets bigger and bigger, Thursday Thunder is going to be the day that we set aside for all of the more expensive openings. Just to give you a sneak peek, our very first Thursday Thunder is going to be a box sealed uh, baseball card exchange of 1980 NFL football. Now that's the Phil Sims rookie, which is going for about a thousand dollars right now in PSA 10 condition, as well as all the other really famous players from those mid 70s to mid 80s. So you're going to have your uh, uh, Terry Bradshaw, Mean Joe Green. I mean, there's a whole just a big list of players. Ken Stabler. All kinds of good players from that era, and their cards from that that set are going for quite a bit of money in PSA 10 condition, so we could get a lot of hits on that. So our very first episode of that is two weeks from this coming Thursday, and as I said, our website is up and running right now. Buy-ins are active, so you can go right to the website and buy into all of these things that I've been mentioning. Again, that's at thegrimrippersden.com is where you can find us. And I'll put that website in the description of this video as well. All right. Let's get moving through these. Robin Yount. That's another Hall of Famer right there. Friday, we're going to have their fan mail day. But even on days where we're doing something like, like fan mail openings or if I'm working on my personal set on Sundays, I'm going to have another a small opening on each of those days, maybe a blaster box or a few packs of something just to make that something that's uh, not just about the Grim Ripper but is also about you, the viewers. So we'll do uh, sponsorships there as well. I'll see another Hall of Famer coming up on the back of this pack. Got Ricky Henderson right there. So we're starting to see a few Hall of Famers out of this box. That's pretty cool. So Saturdays, we're doing a series called the Saturday Skirmish. 
Now the Saturday skirmish is a twist on the pack wars. We will have a traditional pack war uh, amongst whoever signs up to be part of that that skirmish. But in a but um, what will happen is each player will get to keep all the cards they pull out of their own packs, and the person who wins the entire pack war battle will receive a special uh, prize for winning. So everybody will get to keep what they purchased, but the winner will get something extra special to take home with them as well. So that's what we'll be doing with our Saturday skirmish. All right, there's a Ken Griffey Sr. right there. Ken Griffey's dad. All right. And then Sunday, I'm going to keep as a series that I call Sunday Stacks. And that's where I work on a personal set. There we go. Sammy Sosa's rookie. The best rookie out of this set. We got one finally. That one looks pretty good. Mm, might have a little bit of a edge ding right there. Probably not a PSA 10, but still a good looking card nonetheless. And we'll take it. Sammy Sosa rookie. Anyway, uh, on the uh, times where I'm opening stuff for my own set, any doubles that I get, I'm putting into a stack that I will then send out to one of you in a uh, random drawing. So we currently have about three weeks worth of doubles in that stack. I'll be doing one more stack of doubles this weekend on Sunday. We've been building, or I've been building the Tops Series 1 from 2020. So there will be a nice thick stack of cards for somebody, and if they want to keep those cards for themselves to build a stack, that's fine. Or if they want to donate those to somebody else who would like cards, uh, I do know that Daddy Daughter Card Breaks, right on their website, they have a little link called Cards for Kids. You can actually donate your cards to uh, kids that are in the hospital or uh, you know different places like that where they're away from home and might just need something to cheer them up. So if you decide you don't want, you know, if you win those cards from me and decide you don't want to build the set, you know, think about giving those to a cool charity like Cards for Kids over at Daddy Daughter Card Breaks. All right. Kevin Mitchell was a pretty popular player back in the day. There's another Deion Sanders. We'll, we'll double up on the Deion Sanders. That's always good to have a superstar twice. Robin Ventura and Ken Daly. All right, we're about halfway through this second stack. Now, our first live stream that we're planning, it's planned for July the 18th. And I'll have more details on that one as we go along. But that will be my very first live stream, and I would I hope to have a bunch of you out there for that. We're going to be opening a pretty special box for that that has a, um, a lot of ties to to the old old days of tops so keep your eyes open for that and well of course you can go to the website and see what we're opening on any one of these one of these days to include that live live opening so hop on there and, and check it out There's Eric Davis he was popular when this set was new another checklist Alejandro Pena Right, about two-thirds of the way through this pack. Ozzie Smith. Ozzie Smith is a good Hall of Fame card right there. Ernie Riles. Brock Jacoby. Lloyd Mosby. Jim Corsi. Frank Tanana. Again, we're looking for Juan Gonzalez. And we're looking for... Some more Sammy Sosa's. And there's even an error card, I understand, in here of Nolan Ryan. So let's watch out for Nolan Ryan as well. And we're also looking for the autograph of Reggie Jackson. That'll be a tough hit, but, uh, you know, you never can tell what's going to pop up out of these packs. David Cohn, Otis Nixon... Don Carmen. One thing these old packs don't have much of are the 
numbered chase cards that they put in so many packs these days. I think that uh, the first the first numbered cards were probably from Donruss, those Donruss Elite Series cards. And those things were, when they first came out, numbered to 10,000. So that should give you an idea of... Look at that. Third one of that same card, Jackson versus Welch. Anyway, those Elite Series cards were numbered to 10,000. So <laughs> that's how much this stuff was being produced back then, that to be... To be rare in a, in the mass production, you had to have 10,000 of something. So anyway, not quite the one of ones and one of fives and all those sorts of things that we have these days. There's a Vince Coleman, Vance Law, Laudner, Sean Hilegas. Let's go find a, another Sosa or a Juan Gonzalez. If we find the Juan Gonzalez... Then we will have found two of our big hits. There's Jose Gonzalez. Bill Duran. Leo Machado. And Jeff Hamilton. Now these packs, like the 1990 Upper Deck, and uh, you know, packs from that era, these will be available... Uh, for some of our openings as well, and you'll be able to to sponsor the videos for these. And these are actually fairly inexpensive. You'll see those on the site as we move along. And it's a good way to get, uh, you know, to start collecting some of the older sets. Or if you just want to get some cards for your kids or something like that, there, it's an inexpensive way to do that. So, But even though they are an inexpensive buy-in, there's always that chance of getting those nice rookies out of them that might go for, you know, 100 bucks in PSA 10 condition or more, sometimes more. You know, uh, in the 1991 Topps Stadium Club Football Edition, you've got the Brett Favre rookie that goes for over $200 in PSA 10 condition. So... Some of these mass-produced sets, even the cards from these sets, are starting to go up in value. More and more people are starting to collect again, and you know, new collectors. And we've also got a lot of people who collected back in the 80s and 90s and may not have finished what they started. So they want to get back into the hobby and start collecting again. So as the... As the boxes dry up, they'll get more and more expensive, and as people buy up all the good rookies, those will get fewer and fewer in available, you know, available on the market, and the prices will go up. I am seeing a lot of the same players come up here. I think I've seen Bo Diaz at least three times. Still no Juan Gonzalez. You know, Eisenreck. All right, that's the end of stack number two. Let's move into stack number three here. All right, stack number three. Start with a Bob Welch, Herman Gonzalez. There's a Bruce Hurst, longtime player. Mark Parent. Come on, Juan Gonzalez. Who we got here? Mike Blowers, Bill Gullickson, Jeff Montgomery, Fred McGriff. He's a famous player. Rick Honeycutt, Steve Avery, and Mike Morgan. Okay, let's see what we have here. Hoping for Juan Gonzalez, Reggie Jackson autograph, some more Sammy Sosa rookies, a Nolan Ryan, just in case we have the one that uh, has the error. You know, uh, I think Barry Bonds should be in this set as well. So... Maybe we'll pull a Barry Bonds out as well. There's a Jose Canseco. Speaking of folks from the Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire era. That's a good looking card right there. Jose Canseco. 
Set that off to the side. All right, so we have Sammy Sosa and Jose Canseco. Pull a Mark McGuire, that will give us the, you know, some of the big home run guys from that era. Mark Davis. There's another Robin Yount. That's the second Robin Yount that we've seen. Camilo Martinez, Pascal Perez, Randy Myers. Checklist. There's Stottlemyre. Brian. Machado. Jim Presley and Matt Marullo. See if I can think of uh, something we can do during this opening to have a little giveaway from these cards. Maybe this, uh, maybe this stack of Hall of Famers and the rookies from this set. Maybe I can figure out a way to uh, do a drawing for this. Maybe go ahead and go ahead and comment on this video. Anybody who comments on this video and is already, you know, is a member of the channel. So if you're not a member, go ahead and subscribe. But anybody who is a member that comments on this video, I'll do a random drawing and this stack of cards that I'm building off to my right that has the Sosa rookie and the uh, Deion Sanders cards and the other Hall of Famers, we'll just send that stack of cards on out to you as a little thank you for tuning in tonight. So go ahead and just comment on there and you know comment on uh, your favorite team. Just tell me who your favorite team is. So I can get to so I can get to know you. There's a Don Mattingly. You know, he was a really popular player on the Yankees for a good number of years. Not in the Hall of Fame, but still a very popular player. There's Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. So go ahead and just comment on this video who your favorite team is, and I will go ahead and enter you in the random drawing for this opening. There's the, this I think is the one that uh, Reggie Jackson put all of his autographs on, this card right here. So this is the card you're looking for with his autograph on it from this set. All right, looks like we have a pretty good stack of cards over there. And after this is all, you know, this opening is over, I'll go back through the big stack and pull out any other Hall of Famers that I may not have set off to the side just so that uh, whoever wins this in the drawing will get all of those Hall of Famers. Okay. Andres Galarraga, Mark Guthrie. Who else we got here? Fred Lynn, Juan Samuel. So we've had a Jose Gonzalez and a Juan Samuel, but no Juan Gonzalez. Dave Parker. There's Barry Larkin. Barry Larkin is a Hall of Famer. So we'll set him off to the side. There's the Brewers. And that's it for that pack. A little more than halfway through this third pack. We'll get this done in under, hopefully under 40 minutes. That'd be nice. Terry Steinbach, Andre Dawson, Charlie Hayes, Brad Kaminsk, Whitehurst, and Rich Yet. Mel Rojas, Brian Smith, Cal Daniels, Roberto Kelly. There's Greg Jeffries. He was a kind of a flash in the pan kind of rookie. Kevin Moss and Bill Swift. We at least need to get the, the number two rookie to put into that stack for the drawing. That Juan Gonzalez to add to the Sammy Sosa we have over there. Okay, Glenn Davis, Jeff Brantley, Eric Yelding, there's Randy Johnson. That's a good one to get as well. Nice Randy Johnson card. So that one over there, Bob Walk, Ken Bass, Greg Olson, there's Dante Bichette. If you want a father-son duo, that's uh, Bo Bichette's dad. Phil Bradley, Jeff Reed, Marquise Grissom, 
and Nelson and I didn't even bother looking at that last name. <laughs> Two packs left in this particular stack. Oh, here's another father son. Maybe I ought to put the uh, put the Bichette and the Pedro Guerrero in there. Then you can have fathers and sons. That would be pretty cool, right? <laughs> There's Pedro Guerrero, senior. Jerry Brown, Jeff Ines, Andy McGaffin. There's Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. Again, this is a different Gary Carter. So he has two different cards in here. One in the high series, and I think the other one was from the, the low series. Greg Lefferts, Dave Stieb, Blankenship. Still trying to find that Juan Gonzalez. There we go. Another Reggie in this card, or in this pack. Chris Hammond, and an MVP year, number two of nine. Getting a few of those. I'll include those Reggie Jackson cards in the in the giveaway as well. Oh, and by the way, speaking of giveaways, during uh, the Jabs family live stream yesterday, some of the folks on the live stream were kind enough to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and that pushed me up over 100. So keep your eyes peeled for a 100th subscriber drawing. If you remember our last drawing at 50 subscribers, we had some pretty good stuff in that drawing. So we'll continue that tradition and put some good stuff in the 100 subscriber drawing. So go ahead and keep your eyes open for that. And I just want to thank all of you who have subscribed for getting me up over that 100 mark. That puts us on the road to the next goal. And uh, my next, the next goal for myself is 250 subscribers. That's when I'll do another giveaway, is at 250. And then we'll do one at 500 and one at 1,000. Those will be my, those are uh, sort of my hard goals. But I thank all of you for subscribing. And if you know anybody else who's interested in this kind of content, go ahead and encourage them to, to subscribe to the channel. All right, Harry Cotto, John Tudor, Nat Plesak, Robinson, Perez. Where's that Juan Gonzalez or maybe another Sammy Sosa? Some more Hall of Famers. There's Mark Grace, popular Cub from back in the day. Yankees checklist. There's a, there's a Mark McGuire checklist. I'll go ahead and include that one in there just because it's Mark McGuire. I know a lot of people like him. All right, we're on to our final pile here. Start out with a Tim Wallach, Doyle Anderson, Glenn Wilson, Bailey, James. These are, this particular pack is cut a little bad. We don't want the Juan Gonzalez out of this pack. At least those first few cards weren't great on their cut. Robinson. Daryl Strawberry, popular Met from the day, had some drug troubles. I thought maybe that was Gooden. I can't remember which one it was. That might have been Gooden. Anyway, I can't remember which New York Met it was. Pete Incavelia and Oral Hershiser. Alrighty then. I don't know if any of you uh, caught that box wars that Daddy Daughter Card Breaks and J Bob and Sons did, but that was a really cool thing. If you get the chance, go ahead and hit uh, J Bob and Sons or Daddy Daughter Card Breaks, and you can watch that box war. I think it had eight parts, but uh, they were those were uh, it was a fun little thing they did. Hop on over there and check that out at either one of those channels. Still no Juan Gonzalez. Here's George Bell. I see another Reggie card coming up. There's Kano. There's a Wade Boggs. And Mr. October. That's a repeat of the one we had earlier. Okay. Not too many packs to go here. Uh, Bob Boone, we've seen him a couple of times. 
no Gonzales. We'll take a second Sammy Sosa if we can't have a Gonzales or or an error card Nolan Ryan would be good. Jeff Pratt and Lavolo. I don't know too much about that particular error card, the Nolan Ryan. I don't think I've ever seen one of them. They call it a no stripe, and I'm not sure what that means. I, th I think it's a card, I don't know, it may have had some advertising in the background or something that they weren't supposed to have on there, and so they put a stripe on later printings. That might be the error that I'm thinking of for that. At any rate, it was something that uh, makes that an error card and worth a little bit. Devin White, Ramos, Palmer, Jeffrey Leonard. We're down to la our last four packs here. We haven't pulled that second key rookie, Juan Gonzalez. One of the key rookies and some Hall of Famers. That's about what we have. There's Ricky Henderson, and second copy of that. Put that in the stack. Eric Snow, Nichols. This guy has an interesting name. Oil Can. Oil Can Boyd. I wonder what the story is behind that name. Fernandez, Schrader, and Doyle Alexander. Down to three packs. Here we have some last pack magic. That's what we had last Monday Madness with that Brett Favre rookie. We went through the whole box and he was almost the last card of the last pack before we finally came across him. So let's just hope for some that last pack magic for either the Juan Gonzalez or another uh, Sammy Sosa. That would be cool. Kelly Gruber, Let's see another, another Mr. October, third one of that one we found. Apparently the uh, randomization of those Reggie cards wasn't too great in the early days of Upper Deck. There's Ozzie Guillen, Ken Hill, Roger McDowell, Dave Clark, Jeff Musselman, we have one pack after this. We need to get our Juan Gonzalez. There's another Ken Griffey Sr. We've had three, three of the dads come out of this pack. We had the Ken Griffey Sr. We had the Dante Bichette and the Pedro Guerrero Sr. So we've had three halves of the, some of the more famous father-son duos come out of this pack. All right, last pack, everybody. Last pack. Who have we got? Milt Thompson. Benito Santiago. Rick Cerrone. Pat Sheridan. Bob Walk. Another Randy Johnson. It's always good to have a couple of Randy Johnsons. About that, had a little technical difficulty. Let's go ahead and finish out this last pack. So, where did we end here? Uh, we had Joe Kramer. Todd Hundley. John Dobson, Rick Lucan, Hubie Brooks, Tom Brookens, Tommy Gain, and Dave Winfield. It looks like no Juan Gonzalez for our box here, but that's all right. All right, if you enjoyed this box break, go ahead and uh, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell. But most importantly, go ahead and place a comment. Tell me who your favorite Major League Baseball team is, and we'll get you in the drawing to get this stack of cards from this opening that will include uh, any of the key rookies we found. It will include the Reggie Jackson inserts, as well as any other Hall of Famers that uh, came out of this opening, and I'll send those out to you. So go ahead and comment on the video with your favorite Major League Baseball team. And join us tomorrow for Time Travel Tuesday. I'm not sure what I'm opening tomorrow. I do have some, some older stuff, some older Tops boxes. I might do one of those. But I also have some older football boxes that would be fun. Maybe, maybe an upper deck or something like that.
But at any rate, tune in tomorrow for Time Travel Tuesday, and we'll open up something fun. Have a great night, everybody.